good afternoon respected ju uh, jury members and i would like to thank all the organizers of 8th international e conference 2020 for giving me this opportunity to speak on this podium uh, myself dr juhi adam i am mbs uh, specialized in orthodontics today's topic is disasters are inevitable this is very known actually it is the people who matter most and without people we have no disaster so in the very first scene of disaster we just start rescuing our human beings so disasters in human existence go hand in hand and this flow uh, diagram can uh, very well appreciate we can very well appreciate like there is a disaster and there is a response team that comes in uh, into action and there is a team which start taking care of rehabilitation of the human lives which has been lost and which are still survivors then we start reconstructing structures which has been lost then we try every sort of prevention so that disaster cannot happen should not happen in future and we start keeping ourselves prepared for future disasters actually so this is a cyclic form but prepared in a, this the best thing what we can do is we should keep ourselves prepared for every and each disaster and it, it depends on so many factors next slide please next slide so firstly in uh, 1984 interpol that is the international police organization has given guidelines to manage disasters every 5 years they revise the guidelines right now 194 member countries are there with interpol basically looking after the dwi or and all with the international crimes also but before also disasters do existed but they were managed at local level not properly reported so as modernization and intercontinent travel has been increased so the challenges to manage disaster has increased because at a site of disaster there can be like so many nationality so to discriminate and to get a proper data is also a challenge for the forensic personnel team so they challenge they face so many challenges to deal with the disasters right now in in this modern era actually uh, next slide please so basically what is a disaster disaster is disruption of normal functioning of society causing losses of human lives materials other living beings environment and much more causing a level of suffering that exceeds the exceeds the capacity of adjustment of the affective community we cannot over them like like single community cannot overcome that that is a disaster and in the new uh, definitions also like they categorize like when more than 10 people are like involved in a uh, dead or like they call it as a disaster they are there are various type of disaster like natural disasters man made disasters there are open disasters and closed disasters what is an open disaster open disaster means there is no calculation how many human beings are involved in disaster in that disaster but in a closed disaster we know that this, this there is a list that these passengers are traveling from uh, this airplane and it has been crashed so there is a list for that but there is a combined disaster also that is it is a combination of open and closed like a airplane is going and it is crashed in public area like we have a open uh, closed disaster in the airplane crash that is the number of passengers we know that but when it is crashing over the public area we don't know how many victims are there for this uh, disaster like natural disaster earthquakes tsunamis bushfires we cannot uh, we don't have a too much of control over it but man made disaster we can always try to prevent them happening in future next slide please so there is a study done uh, in this the how the many countries are managing this disaster actually so there has been study that the status of a country that is the the country how much he or this country makes a money makes a lot of is saving lives of their citizens during any crisis it is said approximately 70 individuals are killed per 1000 population in, in low income countries whereas less than 20 individuals are killed in high income countries the same scenario if the same scenario is same that means the high income group countries are going to like save their individuals in a more efficient way during a disaster victim identification is a challenge and with a coordinated effort by the international community process can significantly speed up the recovery and helping victim family to begin the healing process and societies to rebuild because this is the next step we need to follow next slide please next slide okay uh like interpol is like doing a very good uh, work over it and it has included so many countries like almost 194 countries are included with the interpol right now for managing uh, internationally all the disasters so what is the dvi process dvi process is one of the smallest part of like uh, in the disaster 
actually because there is so many things also involved but when the humans are involved it becomes the most important thing like disaster victim identification now after disaster we have to identify the victims who are victims are missing and who are like the uh, missing person who are victim so in the victim process in the dvi process we was first of all take the victim data that is we uh, like for uh, experts go to the scene area and uh, they collect the post mortem data from the uh, victim then the missing person data also anti mortem data is also collected so it has been it, both the sets of data are combined for the reconciliation and so so uh, to get an positive positive identification in that case next slide please now uh, disaster response management structure government and jurisdictional authority is very important because in which country this disaster is happening the government has to come into role and has to take the responsibility of it there is interagency coordination like uh, if it is like within the country then they have to coordinate within the within different agencies and the lead authority is going to take over all the processes which are going to come in, into it like media management dvi police fire ambulances rescue operations should also start at uh, beforehand only investigations should start disaster investigation units intelligent information management should be there here are the liaison officers which is it like if any international and nationals are involved in any sort of disaster then liaison of liaison officers do a very important role because they are in contact officer they can make a contact from the uh, member country to the other country which uh, from which the citizens are involved and logistical support is also very important because at the site of disaster we we need to know that how much supplies need which all things are needed so these both uh, support is very very much needed during the case of any disaster next slide please next slide so basically uh, we are just talking about the dvi part the so four steps of victim identification are first of all scene examination depending on the scene of disaster rescue human remains can take weeks or days it depends where the disaster has taken place it is in sea it is in land it is mid air or it is public area or how long the disaster has made his impact so if previously it was like uh, with a uh, in the interpol it was probably grid system was used to locate all the fatalities or the victims or um, involved in that area but nowadays they are using the gps link devices to find out all the uh, victims uh, as far most of the victims they can always like search with the help of gps and all that then post mortem data remains are examined by expert to detect the forensic evidences to identify victims later on this includes because all the victims should like we should try to get all the data from all the victims like fingerprints uh radiology uh, if they can be retrieved they are of high importance uh, significance because these days interpol is running a AF afis system there is an automatic fingerprint identification software and uh, it contains many many fingerprints in their database and in in this case also a new system they have introduced that is not ethelia ethelia uh, software fingerprint system in which they they can even scan the dermis also and as well as the ev dermis also next next slide please that odontology dental examination plays a crucial role in identification as they are highly durable and poor. most people have dental records so matching with the anti mortem data records can lead to a identification so i, I came across uh, with a very beautiful study uh, in legal medicine 2021 it's a study of poland uh, there it, there was a gas explosion in a building and uh, they were uh, a family was involved in that and the uh, two girls were there one is four a uh, four years aged and other was 10 year aged and the mother and they all expired in due, during this collapse and so uh, with the dna the identification was made that they are relatives but it was unable to understand which was four year and which was 10 year so with the help of dental records they were able to uh, identify that this is a four year old and this is a 10 year old so uh, in every case dna like sort of they can match la family history but they cannot match uh, sometimes everything is lost then we can always rely on dentition to take part in it to identification then dna profiling direct dna matching can be done or i familia can be done i familia is newer software which has been introduced in the interpol uh, setup 
uh, with the direct matching that means they want to take the uh, anything any dna material obtained from the victims uh, like used uh, parts or from the body itself if it is not uh, extracted from his body to use part we can always extract dna and if the matching is not done then uh, i familia that is a kinship matching can be done and through that we can always have an idea that these are relatives so interpol is recently using this i familia uh, software for this diagnostic victim identification purposes next slide please now uh, physical identification is very important like sort of uh, we cannot only rely we have to make all the primary investigations primary uh, identification tools we should use that then physical identification tools we can add on for the positive identification like tattoos scar marks surgical implants which are so we can uh, get one surgical implant numbers and all that from the clinics and then can can have an matching with that anti mortem data any type of dental or medical records are to be asked from the family members for positive identification fingerprints or dna profile e if recovered from the victim so should be shared uh, with so we can always reconcile so reconciliation uh, stage is also very important of a collection of all the post mortem and anti mortem data team of experts reconcile the two sets to identify the victims and uh, we can hopefully like uh, get good results in this case uh, next slide please so where india and the us stands actually this is a very important question india does not have very dedicated team of forensic experts to manage disasters aims is in process in process to get one team for dy under leadership of national disaster management association which will work with forensic experts police coordinators doctors and law experts india has witnessed so many disasters like upahar cinema hall fire many bomb blasts plane crashes kedarna tragedy and unfortunately we could not manage them very well as due to lack of proper teams and coordination so this is the high time we should like indian government should uh, like take an step for uh, like uh, dedicating um, some forensic experts uh, for managing disasters at a very good level actually so conclusion these day disaster does not involve one country citizen so international cooperation and coordination with home countries and the country dealing with the is very important essential liaison officers should play very active part in these times of crisis as we say disasters are inevitable so what best we can do is to increase our resources to tackle the situation and decrease the loss so disasters are inevitable we cannot prevent these disasters as we we are in modern world we cannot prevent disasters but what we can do we can only increase our resources to decrease our loss human lives thank you so much